Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Samson. Yeah, we just did Eve. Good Eve run, a fun Eve run. Any run when we get a godhead is fine by me. G G G J D seven A zero four G. For whatever reason, I'm not like I'm not gonna make a mockery of real afflictions and say like, oh, I've got a mild dis case, uh, case of dyslexia. However, I do have occasionally dyslexic type symptoms. That is not very good damage right there. If I'm going to take damage, let's make sure we're taking half hearts and in better situations than that. But anyway, um, I've always gotten G's and J's mixed up, weirdly. Which would be really, you know, awkward if I knew the actress Jillian Jacobs in person, right? I'd always be like, Gillian Jacobs, what's going on? I don't know where the Y came from, but you gotta... I, halfway into that joke, I panicked and realized, oh shit, like both of the sounds have the same, both the letters have the same sound in that case. Anyway, it's not relevant. But, you know, sometimes you'll see like, oh, Northern Lion, you fucked up the seed, ha ha ha, or you're an idiot, and I'm like, yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, my brain, it, it mixed wires, man. Wires get crossed. Neurons, the action potentials are not making it across the synaptic cleft. They should be. Maybe I'm uh, a little low on potassium. Actually, I'd, I've been mixing up words so much, I had someone tweet me and say, Northern Lion, are you on a vegetarian diet? Because you're mixing up words a lot. Now, that's not meant with shots fired at vegetarians. I guess what he's trying to say is maybe, you know, you, you seem like you have an iron deficiency or something like that. Honestly, I think it's that, you know, I have like a, a gas tank in my brain. Which might be part of the problem. But, uh, you know, as I talk, the fuel drains and it drains and it drains and it drains. And then eventually I'm running on fumes. And that's where I start being like, well, wow, hey, ha, yeah. So, uh, you get it. So this is actually a really good situation. I'm hoping that you can see... Never mind. <laughs> Fuck everything. I saw the Tinted Rock there and was like, oh, this is awesome because now we'll get uh, some Spirit Hearts and that will protect me on the next floor and hopefully I can get IV Bag because I already have enough money to get IV Bag and this is going to be awesome. But it ended up not being awesome. It ended up being a big old pile of uh, duty butter. I can't be the first person to say duty butter as much as I want to be. Well, that was a great use of a bomb. Very productive. So productive, we'll take you to the candy shop. Here's where we keep the lollipops. If Tim comes in, tell him to stop. No discounts till he pays his tab. Whoa! Ah! Oh, bad damage, that's okay. There's no reason to panic, as long as we're only taking half hearts of damage against uh, the haunt, what the hell do we care, you know? Like, we're not gonna die here. We could get set up to die on the next floor, that would be a little bit less good. Mom's contact. You think it's the best tier effect in the game? Like, as far as status effects that you can inflict on an enemy go? I think you gotta put freeze over slow. You gotta put freeze over poison. The damage from poison is not that good. I think it might be, now that I... Now that I really come down to brass tacks on it. T-A-C-K-S, I think, not T-A-X. You know, there's only a few things, uh, <laughs> inevitable in life. Death, tax, and taxes. Try typing that sentence on your typing test. That's how you know your teacher's a dick. They have like 12 semicolons in it as well. I don't really want to open that golden chest, to be honest with you. I mean, I do, but I, I don't. I'd rather go to the item room on the next floor, or maybe even the shop to buy a spirit heart, if we can get a, um, a blood bank, so I can hopefully have a chance to get IV bag. I wish that I could go to that curse room right away. Sadly, I can't even with the, the moon card. But the moon card, oh, I let myself get trapped a little bit. The moon card is great. I'm excited um, that if we get a spirit heart, we can actually go to that curse room before the boss fight because the moon card will let us get out. Or we could just go to the secret room. That's the other option. But I was hoping to save it and use it as like a dual purpose card. Mmm. You know what? We got two keys now. Perfect. Problem hopefully solved. Now this is not strictly speaking the safest way to handle things and thus probably not strictly speaking the best way to handle things. But it's the way I'm gonna do it. Curse room ended up being pretty horrible. And the secret... Oh, jeez, we gotta bomb our way out. I didn't realize. Um, the secret room, honestly, does not look much better. Uh, we don't have Guppy's Tail. What's up with all this nonsense? But if we can get a golden key, this could be the greatest floor of our dreams here. And I mean that's... Well, I don't know why he just stopped in place there, but I mean that sincerely. Like, we have four golden chests or three golden chests already, plus this would give us the ability to access the uh, item room for free, of course. Might as well take that. I am hoping that we still have that... Arcade chance here. You want to just go fight the boss? I mean, I feel like with the one damage we've taken plus um, 
plus this Spirit Heart, plus Mom's Contact, we're in a pretty good position to still uh, guarantee ourselves relative, relatively a deal with the Devil. We have three flies as well. It always seems like we get Monstro again on the second floor. It's like Monstro's Law is coming back in full effect here. We got no bombs left over. What is my ideal item here? It is HP. As Samson, I'm like damage meta is important, but we always have a latent ability to get more damage just by letting ourselves get injured. If we get more HP, that gives us more capacity to do that repeatedly on like several floors. So strategically, I actually think that, you know, a health up almost is a damage up as Samson, but getting some base damage wouldn't wouldn't kill me either. I'd be very happy with it. Mostly though, this is all about the deal with the devil. Let's hope it works out a little bit better than the precedent we had on our last run. Speed is also fine. I was feeling a little slow. And we'll take both of these. Absolutely. Rotten Baby's good enough. Spirit of the Night is uh, just good. Does put us in a little bit of a scary position HP-wise. And probably would have been smart to maybe go uh, play our arcade if such an arcade exists. But honestly, looking at this layout, I don't think an arcade does exist. Yeah. So, didn't end up biting us in the ass. But probably we should have played an arcade when we had more HP. But this is good. Damage has improved. Blank card is really good. But we need something to go along with it. In our current situation, we're, uh, you know, all bark, no bite here. We'll try to shoot the poop. It's going really well, as you can see. I'm a big fan of the way this run looks so far, because uh, Rotten Baby is really nice. And with the Hive Mind scale so well. We have missed out on a lot of potential, though. I can't help but feel that. Like, I'm hoping we get, like, a key or a spirit heart here. A penny? Like, I'm lowering my, uh, my standards as time goes on. <coughs> Pardon me. You got a piece of spinach stuck in my throat hole. Ah. The wrap was good, but the spinach is stuck. I think like I didn't get very much sleep last night, so like my mucosal membrane's already like a little dry. And the piece of spinach got stuck in there. That was that was just bad for business. I apologize. Gross. Anyway, um, we're in a great position as long as we don't get hit. If we get hit, we're fucked. That's pretty much the gist of what my commentary was going to be for the next 35 minutes before I lost the ability to speak due to spinach-related illness. Um, we're going to be at 1 one one as far as our consumables go, so really we're, we're quite flexible there. We can do shop, we can do arcade. Now that there's going to be an arcade, we can do item room. Um, try to get him murdered over the chasm if we can. Saves me a little bit of hassle, but honestly that... Uh, Spirit of the Night pickup is going to be great. Also gives me the opportunity to go, It was the Spirit of the Night. Had to give it a try, at least. Got another bomb. Uh, you know what? Sure, fuck it. There you go. I use blank card for no reason to pick up that battery. Why do it? Because you got to have fun sometimes. All right? The uh, freaking... Uh, Trunchable? I forget the name of the... What was the name of the headmistress? From Matilda? Trunch... Trunch something? There's something to do with unch in it. I feel bad if you have a last name that has like an unch sound. Don't let popular media get you down. Because popular media is always painting people with that kind of name as some kind of like... It's shorthand for villain. Unch and ench are just like a recipe for... Oh, this character is going to be a bitch. And that's not fair, man. That's not fair to you. That's not fair to your, your people. I'm an equal opportunity name hater, is all I'm trying to say. Have we, uh, have we stumbled across an XL floor? We have indeed, so I probably should not have opened that golden chest. We should pay attention a little bit more instead of, uh, you know, riffing on 90s movies based on rolled doll books. But, uh, okay, this is where things get very, very dangerous. And certainly, probably a good time to go to our shop in order to ensure that we can get a uh, black candle would be ideal. But if we can't get black candle, I'd be fine with just a spirit heart. Honestly, Hive Mind is also great, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I didn't want to give you a key, so I'm glad that I didn't even have the opportunity to. Yes, that's more along the lines of what I was looking for. No key for sale. Of course, I would like the blue map if we can get it. Hive Mind is a, an item that I was talking about, and it's really important. I'm, I'm glad that we have a good chance to make do with it here. And it really is going to be probably our best damage dealer here, but good lord, we need a spirit heart, man. We could really use a spirit heart. Okay, it doesn't always work. Labush is not um, applicable in every single situation. Don't do me like this, Pestilence. I I can fly, so I shouldn't worry too much about the creep. It's all about avoiding, well, ideally the red heart damage first, of course, but like also death. Now, Pestilence is going to give us an orbital. It's a slight defensive increase. 
I guess we're just gonna fight our second boss and kind of hope for the best. And this this is the best. It's either this or the husk, and uh, the hollow is probably even easier for my money. It's easier than a lot of rooms that just have enemies. But 2 HP and a fight against Krampus, which honestly, as far as deals with the devil go, in our current situation, this is probably one of the best. Uh, short of getting like 9 lives Abaddon or, you know, something along those lines. This is, uh, this is something that gives us at least a chance to, to do something here. I hate to get rid of blank card, but I'm not gonna. Head of Krampus is fine, and it is immediately better for us. It's an immediate upgrade. But long term, I think we're going to be better off. You know, if we can get a Hero Font card or anything along those lines. Anything defensive or um, on the other side of things. A Sun card would be great. World card, maybe even. Perthro rune, etc, etc. So I'm glad I didn't just, you know, cheap out there. Book of Sin we had on our last run. I don't, I don't think it's that good. But I'll tell you what I will do, because we've already gotten our deal with the devil. I'm going to hurt myself twice there. I was hoping maybe we'd get a spirit heart. Uh, let's do it again. All right. Either way, we're getting a damage bonus, so, like, I'm pretty stoked about that. But uh, I would have loved Gimby to pay out. And Oh, that sucks so bad. We're going to have to do stuff like that uh, if we really want to make this run work for us, honestly. Because we haven't really gotten too out of control yet. And, of course, like, the Krampus fight didn't really help us at all. Orbital helps us a little bit. Hive Mind helps us a lot in conjunction with Rotten Baby. But uh, we got to take matters into our own hands here. We don't really have... Uh, we're not coming from a position of strength. Let's put it that way. Where are you at? Final. Oh, there's no nobody left. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Whipworm is not bad. Cognitively speaking, might counteract the fact in my brain that I feel like we don't have any uh, fire rate. Even though this doesn't help our fire rate, it kind of like, you know, tricks us into thinking maybe it does. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a library type situation over here. Which would mean it was a great opportunity for a Perthro rune to show up if there's a benevolent force in our universe. Satanic Bible. It's getting increasingly tricky to not um, take an item that is not blank card. So we are going to take Satanic Bible. And uh, again, I'm going to do something that... I feel is actually pretty important to try to sell this run. I'm gonna uh, take some red heart damage because there's other red hearts available. So I'm just gonna go back for those. And the hope is that Gimpy will pay out with some spirit hearts and give us even more. And you know, you never know if one spirit heart, I don't know why I sound like a didgeridoo there for a second. You know, you know, you know. Anyway, um, I guess we're just gonna do it like, uh, we'll like bomb ourselves as we look for a secret room. Which is a little weird, but if it gets the job done, what do we care? Okay. Thank you, Gimpy. Uh, just a, a requisite thank you to Gimpy there. Thank you, Gimpy, so much for your help. And then um, come back here and look for a secret room as well with our last bomb. I don't think it'll be here, but it could be. Use Satanic Bible. Again, big thanks to Gimpy. Everyone, give a round of applause to Gimpy. Thanks for being useless. However, um... You know, we got a damage bonus on this floor now, and also, we got Satanic Bible. So I figured we might as well try to double down before uh, before we gave ourselves a black heart and we're unable to do that. But really, the way that this is supposed to work for us is if we can get a... Um, ooh, not really useful. If we can get a, uh, a blood bank and some HP, then we can hopefully get some good gimpy plays out of it. But for now, no such luck. Well... To be honest with you, after the interesting work that we put in here, I would have expected perhaps a little bit more uh, of a get from the game. It happens. I'm not too salty about it, but sincerely, I am feeling like this run is working on borrowed time right now. That's why I'm coming back here and I'm going to be going to our uh, mob trap room. Because as of right now, I'm like, well, I need to, I need to do something more on this run because we're not getting it done just yet. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, we're going to save our money in the hopes of getting an arcade on the next floor. I would probably get rid of Satanic Bible. I would probably get rid of Satanic Bible for IV bag just because it scales better into the late game. And damage is not quite there yet, especially with that tears downgrade. I know I said HP is more important than damage of Samson. I fucking, I was wrong, okay? I didn't know how wrong I was, but I was wrong. And now I'm admitting it. We are going to go uh, down to Necropolis and, and pretty much just hope for the freaking best, man. Because this is... Uh, this is a wild one and a half right there. Right here, I guess. Not right there. It's right there for you. It's right here for me. Okay. 
Curse of Darkness. Not that bad. Let's try to focus on the positive. We have Hive Mind, Rotten Baby. And Hive Mind, Rotten Baby. There is a Tinted Rock there, too. Hive Mind, Rotten Baby is going to do the same amount of damage no matter how... Oh, that's not true. But the flies are going to do a lot of damage. They will do more damage, I think, the more we get hit. But whatever. Okay. Get a bomb. Come back there for that Tinted Rock. Mark it on your map. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about the fact that I said don't forget about it. Because I'm going to forget about it. No bombs. No haunts, either. My Samson, at this point, looks exactly like I feel about this run. It's like, oh, Dad, we're going back to the mall again. Also, my Samson lies over the ocean. My Samson lies over the sea. My Samson lies over the ocean. I'll bring back my Samson to me. Sing it with me if you know it. Bring back... Bring back, oh, bring back my Samson to me, to me. Seriously, though, give me some HP. Like, desperately, I'm in need of... Oh, my God, man. Okay, I got to admit, first off, were you disappeared into the ground or something? I got to admit, though, uh, the game is being very kind with respect to Satanic Bible battery charges right now. Thank you so much. Oh, that was, that was a poor way to finish that off. Stay away, stay away. These guys, you can hit what you can't see. Admittedly, I'm a little too lazy sometimes to just stand on top of the rocks and do what needs to be done. But we're going to do that here because we don't really have much else in the way of advantages. Okay, we have a tinted rock back here. Please, God, contain the small rock. There is no... My, my floor equilibrium is all messed up. There is no chance for an arcade here. We can still get a temperance card or just a random... Blood Bank. Hopefully that ends up working out. Also, hopefully we get some keys. Also, hopefully we get like a little bit more money. Also, hopefully we um, pick up like a damage upgrade. Hopefully, also like we get a deal with the devil. Got a few different, uh, a few different things on my mind right now that I'm hoping to have come to fruition here. Oh, fantastic! The bean. Press space in a room. Do poison damage to two enemies. Lovely. What a great item. A lot better than Satanic Bible. This is going to be, uh, in all likelihood, our shop. If it's an arcade, I'd actually be pretty stoked because we could start to, uh, you know, whittle all the books in the rotation down, which would be amazing. But smart money is on it just being a, uh, a shop. Not that there's anything wrong with just being a shop, you know? Glad we got people for that. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you. That's my bad entirely, but thank you nonetheless. I appreciate it. Let's see what we got here. The Wretched. Double Wretched, after I've already been hit a couple of times with Mom's Contact, is pretty good. Shouldn't expect this one to be too, too difficult. Already killed one, which I didn't realize that I was just focusing on one, but I guess now that I think about it, we don't have piercing shots, so of course we were focusing on one by just shooting at the same point over and over and over. Good stuff. Get the fly in there. I don't know if you realize this, Rotten Baby, but the flies you create are, like, the crux of my damage right now, so if you could not instruct them to just hang around doing nothing, that would be great. Magic Mush. Life is good again. I will take it. Um, basically for the black heart, but also because I... Now that I think about it, we probably should not have taken it. I didn't know. If you can't come up with a good reason to take an item in a couple of seconds, you probably should not take it. That being said, um, we got it. It might end up saving us, but mostly I picked it up to trade a red heart for a black heart, which in all honesty is probably not a good trade, but whatever. We got two more black hearts on the room anyway. That's the perfect deal if you have uh, no precedent, but we have precedent because of our earlier excursion to the deal with the devil. Figure we might as well explore a little bit more here. Ooh, what's this pill? Bombs are key. Actually worked out surprisingly okay, although I would rather have more keys than bombs at this low level. Not a big problem either way. Golden poop could be pretty sweet for us here. If we could shoot it, which we obviously cannot, and then after saying I cannot, I'm sure that I'll hit it right now. Maybe our orbital can just take it out? Nope. Gonna take us a while here. There we go. This is sweet because we might have a chance to get enough to buy something, but also also spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is, again, like even though Satanic Bible's been great, really, really like to uh, spawn an arcade on the next floor so that maybe I could have some uh, increased damage permanently. Not that Magic Mushroom doesn't give me some of that, but 
I need a little bit more. And we got another Spirit Heart there. We're coming to the point where Satanic Bible's uh, going to have to take a little bit of time off because we're almost at the HP cap. Which is great again. Don't let me say that that's not great. I'm just... I'm very wary about uh, coming across as ungrateful, which I, I am not at all. However, our HP is sorted. It's time to move on. You know, you can't stay in kindergarten forever, kids. We got to move on to, you know, middle school and then... Or, well, I probably don't go kindergarten straight to middle school. Oh, Lord! The dream is real. Also, maybe some Gimpy payouts? The more Gimpy payouts we get, the more we can actually play this blood bank. And also, the money is so good, just in case this shop doesn't work out for us. Um, I guess I didn't pick up that red heart. That's been happening with surprising regularity lately. Only it's probably not surprising if you truly know who I am. Anyway. I sincerely think it's worth going really deep on this, uh, this blood bank right here. I would love if it paid out with what I wanted to pay out with, which is the IV bag. If it pays out with blood bag, that's completely fine as well. We can always have a chance still to get, uh... IV bag on the next floor. Yo, also, Gimpy, would you like to pay out? Like, you only have one purpose as an item. I guess our luck stat is just, like, piss poor. Piss poor. Dong smasher. Now, oh, jeez. Surprisingly tight dodge there. No drops, okay. Oh, yeah, that was a good use of a key. Hey, Northern Lion, what do you recommend doing with a key? Uh, yeah, maybe, like, right after you walk into a purple fire for no reason, you can just drop your key, uh... Might as well, right? You can just drop your key into a lock that you've already unlocked from a different side, and then you'll feel, like, really good about yourself, for sure. Um, I'll tell you what, let's put a bomb here. Bomb here. Bomb here. Oh, that's fantastic. I'd say, uh, nothing but net on those ones. Yum! Four bombs, four hosts. In some worlds, that's like uh, batting a hundred. A thousand, I guess. Batting a hundred is pretty terrible. So we go back for even more HP. There was a time on this run where I was like, man, that XL floor is going to make it so we could probably get boss rush. Oof. No. That is not going to happen. And that's unfortunate. Now, I also can't get into our shop, which has me feeling a little salty because it's like entirely my own fault, but... Can we bomb our way in? No, no, we can probably not. That's not going to be our secret room. Where the heck is our secret room going to be then? Maybe, uh, it's not going to be there either. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's look for maybe a second secret room. I'm not leaving this floor yet. Don't get your hopes up that I'm going to make a mistake of that caliber. Yeah, I was hoping for maybe some red hearts. Pulse worm. I prefer pulse worm to whip worm, in all honesty. Try this. I don't know what I was hoping for there. Maybe just better luck than we've had in the past. Um, we'll also shoot all the fire here. Alright, this is really our last hurrah when it comes to uh, this arcade. Either way, we know we're going to have at least 24 cents when we go down to the next floor. So we should have a really, really good chance of being able to get to the arcade regardless, you know? Like, assuming we have an arcade on the next floor, which I'm really hoping we will. We'll have the chance at least. Gimpy! Hey! Whoa! Gimpy's paying out like crazy now. So don't uh, spend it all in one place. I'm actually going to spend both of the hearts Gimpy gave us trying to sell this. Come on, Ivy Bag. I'm going to I'm gonna do another two black hearts. That's only one. Come on. I'm going one more black heart down. Oh! Okay, because we got the spirit heart, I'm going another spirit heart down. Which was a black card in this case. Alright, well we have a ton of money. Unfortunately that didn't really work out the way that I'd hoped it did, but hoped it would, I guess. Oh my lord. Okay, I am an idiot and need to be punished. Let's move along. Um, now that that's out of the way. Spent a lot of HP on that blood bank, and man, it did not pay the dividends that I was hoping. We should still be fine on HP. Like, I don't see us being in a bad spot here. But... <laughs> I wish that it had gone differently. Even if it gave me blood bag, that's fine, man. More room to work with on this floor, but uh, no blood bag and no IV bag. And then no bombs with which to blow it up. A little salty. A little salty. It's okay, though. This is, uh, I'm glad that this run is not just being handed to us on a silver platter. You know, we have to work for it. That makes us stronger in the long run. Are you a wizard? Beautiful. Huge fan. Um... 
could blow this up. But honestly, I'm kind of interested to see what the judgment might have to offer. And that HP, I do think, is worth it. Not the most uh, attractive Samson run, if I may push my uh, antiquated ideals of beauty into the situation here. I must admit that this Samson, uh, not not classically attractive, a bit Cumberbatchian. Not that he is not a handsome man, but you know, he's, he's not uh, tra traditionally handsome, shall we say. He's got a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. I hope that's not like accidentally a super racist thing in French. I just meant to say uh, a really terrible version of I am a tree. Or I am not a tree. I don't know trees. I don't know the answer to this. Anyway. Come on. Come on. Every room that we or every dead end that we hit at least where we do not find a uh, an arcade is starting to freak me out further and further. Because if we don't get an IV bag, you know, the main defining feature of this run is still the fucking rotten baby hive mind. This is not enough to build a house on. You know, we got an ins a non-solid foundation for our house. Just keep it, uh, keep it going here. A little scared, but we have nothing to worry about in terms of our HP. It's really, like, at this point, I can actually take my, my... I can take a little stress off, let's put it that way. I like this. I can take some stress off because my play doesn't factor too much into whether or not we're gonna be able to succeed here. Oh, that's so good. Um, what does factor into it is the RNG of the items. So, basically, shit happens. We may end up taking that, but it's a little late for Maggie's Faith to be like super useful. Pulse Worm is kind of just a cosmetic change though, so I can see it working out for us. I'm just gonna open my door here. It's a little bit hot in here. You'd think, you know, there's a gap under the door, so there'd be some air transmission. There probably is, but not enough, and it is hot in here with the computers. Computer. No computers, there's a second computer. Um, that's probably our secret room. Great! Fantastic, this is amazing. Let's use it all. Let's blow this up. Could use another 48 hour energy pill. Uh, paralysis. Lovely. Great pill. Um, and the other one was speed down, which we definitely don't want. Oh my god, there's an arcade. Okay, all is forgiven. Hopefully we can actually gamble for a key on it as well. Alright, Gibby, this is where I need you to shine, buddy. I know that took a black card, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna gamble on these guys to try to get as many red hearts as possible. Oh, you're doing the Lord's work, my friend. You are doing the Lord's work. Thank you, Gimpy! Work with me on this one. Game, I swear to God, that was again not the way to do that, but I swear to God, game, if you work with me on this one, you will you'll get as many donations to that donation machine as you can stomach. Our money is meaningless to us here. Just hook us up and we will be yours forever. Bombs. I could use those, but oh well, you have uh put me in a very difficult situation there. Thank you for the half red heart. I think it might be more efficient for us at this point to just go look... Oh, thank God for the tears up. Uh, it might be more efficient at this point to just go look for more HP. So I'm going to blow you up. Thank you for the more HP that I said I was looking for to begin with. Could have made this so much simpler on us, but alas. Can't believe it. Oh, I did get one key out of that. Where did the key come from? This is only... Oh, it is the depths too, so we cannot actually fight the boss right now or... People will be real mad, and I think justifiably so. Come on. IV bag. IV bag. It's not even good, right? IV bag! Hey, give this fucker IV bag! It sucks. Please. Concussive tears. It's decent. Iron bar, to be more uh, accurate. It's it's a small damage upgrade. Stars. The stars is not really that meaningful for us. But we did get a black card, so here's what we can do. Go play this bad boy twice. Get a little bit more money. And then pick up this black card. Um, okay, let's go play our boss trap room in the hopes that that works out for, for us. And we might even end up staying in our boss trap room. Although, because it paid out with a key, I'm actually tempted to just leave. But our, our damage is acceptable enough that I feel like we can stay and fight for this and it should turn out, like, completely fine for us. Come on. When the, when the hive mind flies, don't do what they're supposed to do. It's a sad moment, man. They really are our best damage dealers. Okay, we got two keys. Was it worth it? Absolutely was. 
Okay, the shop is very valuable for us here. We have 60 cents and no money equals power. I think we should go... I think we should go for it. Thank God we got two keys. Um, let's donate first. Let's just get that out of the way. Fair enough. Buy a key. Um, we will... Buy a battery. We will buy a charge. We'll buy a pill. Oh, this is a really good pill. What's this? The stars? Not as not as relevant. Might as well buy this. I don't think we can buy this. Okay, so now we go play the crap out of our uh, out of our blood bank again. <laughs> oh, there's some red hearts back here. We do so uh, in the hopes of really we're gonna get something out of it. Is basically what I'm throwing at the wall here. We're either gonna get a blood bag, or we're gonna get an IV bag, or we're gonna get in a whole hell of a lot of trouble because I'm not gonna have much HP left at the end of it. But please, give me the permanent damage increase. One play. Alright, that's fair. Hurt me more. There we go. There's two plays right there. That's one. Oh my god, they gave it to me. You're too kind. Now we need some red hearts to make this work, but the, the hard part is done. And dare I say that really was... Oh, we should have stayed in there. Dare I say that really was the freaking hard part. Of, oh my god, that was nasty. But now we've done it, I think we're fine. And uh, let's... After all that, I will. I will. It fucks up our IV bag play, but if we get more red hearts, it's fine. And it gives us more base damage. Was it worth it? That's a very good question that I will <laughs> struggle with for probably a little while. But, yeah, that takes a full red heart. So, Or, sorry, it takes a full spirit heart, so we can't do that. We just need one more red heart. Maybe if we had taken Maggie's Faith, we'd find ourselves in a better position in a, in a floor or two, but... I was hoping it would only take a half heart and then we could eke some invincibility out of it. But it is what it is. We still have great damage and, you know, we're going to get hit from time to time anyway. And that will uh, provide us with a little bit of a bonus damage. Felt like a secret room. And it was indeed. We're back up to like 35 cents. 36 once we get this one. That's not really that meaningful, but I did like to... Show that my arithmetic skills and my counting skills are still at the, you know, first grade level. Of all the worms to offer us, Pulse Worm is still going to be my favorite here. Only one key. That's definitely something we need to work around. Um, okay. No mapping is a real sore spot as well, but... With all this... Uh, is that a key? No, it's an Isaac's Fork. Not even close. <laughs> with all the, the problems we've had on this run, especially given our damage... Um, I'm really happy to be in the position we're in right now. It does suck that we're not going to get another deal with the devil. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that are kind of suboptimal about the way that the run went. And maybe, to be honest with you, we might have been better off not taking the pact. But it's it's not really in my uh, in my wiring to not take the pact, you know? It's, it's so good. One of the best items on the deal with the devil. Even though if I sometimes give it shit for being like a little too just, uh, I'm above average, you know? Isn't that insufferable when someone spends a lot of time practicing a skill and then they're like, Oh, check it out. I'm good at this skill that I practiced a lot. It's like, come on, man. Just do nothing and then be talented. That would be impressive. Working hard for something and, and then accomplishing it. It's not worth anything. Thank you, Gimpy. I really was getting slightly nervous about our HP. It helps out a lot. Hematomesis doesn't, but whatever. We don't need 48-hour energy. Let's be honest. We're probably going to be sticking with uh, the IV bag. If we find another spacebar item, well, what would it be? Probably, uh, probably White Pony at this point. Boss? Not boss? Oh, we've come completely in the wrong direction. <sighs> Luckily, this does count as two floors. So, you know, once we're done with... I thought we'd done this room. Once we're done with this, we're, uh, we're done with the whole thing. And this actually is, uh, as much as I am afraid to admit it, because it makes it real when I say it, this is squanderable. This is a run that can be squandered. I'm still feeling pretty good about it, but definitely um, it's it's squanderable. Could create a really bad situation. And now the run has squarely, like within two floors, fallen back within my hands. Uh, and, and my play now becomes the dominant factor in whether or not we'll succeed. Which is a scary thought, because I've had some really great runs. And I've had some truly awful ones, so... Uh, in, a, in a weird way, I kind of felt a little bit more comfortable with the RNG, if I do say so myself. But here we are. We don't have any choice in the matter. 
We were the passenger in the in the car, and then the driver had a heart attack, and we have to drive them to the hospital, or they will die. And also, the they are us. So just to add like an, an extra layer of M Night Shyamalanness to this, Sh Shyamalanimity is uh, I believe what the industry term for that. Shalal, Shyamalanlanlan. I probably shouldn't. I'm not trying to make fun of his name. By chanting it, that was me trying to do Van Morrison's Brown Eyed Girl with M. Night Shyamalan's name as the as the hook. But um, came out a little wrong, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Don't walk into them as they're dying. I've been looking for curse rooms as well, and I've, apparently I've been looking for curse rooms in all the wrong places, man. Because they have not, uh, not curse rooms, sorry, tinted rocks, Jesus. Time to stop recording Isaac for today, take a long walk, go outside. HP, we will take, and this is so good for us. Because now, we can do stuff like this, get a little bit more of a damage bonus. We've probably been hit almost enough already um, to to be at the full damage bonus. Well, now, of course, we have. But uh, we might as well do this just a little bit. And then let's get us back to one and a half hearts so that we can get a little damage bonus immediately on the next floor and also take advantage of the permanent Polaroid invincibility. This is good, though. This is, uh, the fact that we have more HP now makes us a lot more potent, actually, and gives us some damage bonuses that we can really do a lot of, a lot of damage with, for lack of a better word. You know, I would have loved to have been more elegant with my, uh, phrasing than that, but, uh, better to be, uh, you know, uh, better to have brevity, I suppose, than wit. Good stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, why not? I suppose. Let's head up to the next floor. Can't see where we're going, but that's alright. Hoping for gimpy payouts with, uh... With IV bag, but, uh... No gimpy payouts, so to speak, thus far. Can't believe that Loki doesn't die in one hit from... High Priestess. Maybe he didn't catch it at, like, the right angle or something? I don't know. I don't even know if there is a right angle for... High Priestess, for a big foot to come down and stomp you, I'm pretty sure you can just, you can make that work. No matter which way you go. You know what? Concussive Tears may have actually been a bad choice. Because I think it's making enemies freeze less often. Because they're getting hit by the Concussive Tears status effect, and then they're becoming immune to all status effects for a temporary period. Not that I should be complaining, because I'm still getting, like, a decent amount of freezes at least, but... Could be, uh... Could have been a wrong choice. Just trying to think of like the higher order strategy. So this is good. We got another red heart that we can pick up and then we'll use it immediately. And we'll leave one penny behind so that we can grow pennies in the future. Turn that penny field to fallow. Not really what I'm looking for there. Nor is that uh, red heart there what I'm looking for, but it's okay either way. Got a nice little damage bonus. Have not taken... That's tears down. <laughs> Have not taken damage on this floor. We're up to eight keys. Like, we've solved a lot of the problems that we were... Oh, so stupid. A lot of the problems we were previously facing. No gimpy payout. Very disappointing. Life goes on, though. Okay. Just take out one, man. Then the flies will take out the other one easily. They're both potentially dangerous. Full of red hearts. No... No curse of the maze? No. Full of red hearts. I have a feeling these guys are probably not going to drop full red hearts. And that is another spell of pretty poor damage there. We have two half red hearts, but I think at this point we've already taken basically enough damage to hit the cap regardless, so I don't really want to engage in backtracking, but we could get into that. Well, we're going to get into the cursor for free. We could get out of it for free as well. We're going to backtrack a little bit. I knew we hadn't done this room, but I figured also, like, permanent Polaroid invincibility is not that meaningful, like, on a room-to-room -room basis for us, but... It's completely possible that I may end up uh, regret regretting saying that um, at some point. So this allows us to get out of the curse room without losing the spirit heart that we otherwise, or the black heart, I guess, that we otherwise would have. So um, let's walk in, open these. Oh, so worth our time. Paralysis, lock up. I mean, the lock up is good. We'll keep the. Uh, Tears down pill, because if we get a Virgo or a PhD, this should turn into a tears up. 48 hour energy, at least we'll put the batteries on the ground. I doubt we'll, we'll find a use for them, but it's fine either way. And I'm looking, uh, now at this point I'm like, more red hearts, but I want the red hearts not to play, I want them so we can play them on the next floor. Like, they're not immediately useful to me. But they'll be extremely useful uh, once we get down to the chest, because I would... 
And, I mean, any damage bonus we can start with on the chest is going to pay dividends for us. We're not necessarily uh, in, a, in a super good situation right now. This has got to be the way to the boss fight. Or, really, at this point, I'll be so confused, I might have to consult a GPS or something like that. Google Maps. Anything? Anything at all? No. Okay. Well, we should... Anytime there's a nickel, I'm like, okay, you know what? I won't be a curmudgeon. Let's pick up the money because there's a decent chance, you know, we get, like, money equals power or something, and it's worth doing. Okay. Most important thing here, we keep doing the damage, but also, uh, the flies from Rotten Baby have to get in there. They're such a huge damage dealer that if we can't get those in there, we've got a serious problem. It's gonna really cut into our... Ah! I shouldn't have stood there at all gonna really cut into our efficiency as you can see though we are doing great damage this is awesome if we can just keep this up uh, we should be fine where's my flies if we can keep that up on the chest we should be fine chest is markedly more difficult though let's get down to business good not good not good at all and right now and like decent at best so we're pretty much on our own here and that scares me Oh, I thought that other one was exploding first. Okay, what do we want? Well, we had a one luck upgrade, so I'm hoping for uh, some chests. I'm not thinking it's too likely, but it would be awesome if we can get some. And, uh, sure, any items that would help us out as well would be... I mean, it's kind of like a cop-out. What do we want? Things that will help us. Yes, of course, this is true. But, uh, specifically, more red hearts. Like, if we're just going to get consumables, kill gluttonies last, take their red hearts, and use that to turn into a damage bonus. Um... I don't know if Mega Fatty actually has a, a set type of consumable that it pays out with, but if it did, I would assume that it would pay out with um, Red Hearts, because it kind of looks like Gluttony. So maybe we can get super lucky here. Man, those flies. Back a real punch. Half Red Heart. That's a start, man. Uh, we should probably kill Sloth last. Now, flies! 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 Oh my god. You consistently shot the wrong dude, you freaking assholes. What are you doing on that one? That wasn't any help at all. Okay, well this time, we're gonna have either a Bob Curse, Bob's Curse, or we're gonna have a Tarot card. We got Bob's Curse, which is the worst of the two outcomes, honestly, I think, but it's not too bad. This room is the worst, so let's uh, do as much damage as possible. Let's assume that we're gonna take a hit or two. And we will um, just try to get as much damage done to one as possible so that we can have permanent polar regiment's ability to help us out against the other one. That's not good damage. Uh, where's my where's my gimpy at? Where's my gimpy payout at? What do you mean there is no gimpy payout? There's no words on it. I should not have let myself get hit there. And that's basically what I would classify that is. I let myself get hit there. Oh no no no! Let me last. Let me last. Greed should go down super quickly. Good stuff. Let me last. We got a full red heart, which is actually fine. Nothing wrong with that. Got a few more plays. Oh, the Hierophant card is so good as well. Okay, so that's going to take us almost... Uh, probably, like, literally to the maximum damage bonus we're going to get. So, that is hugely important for us. And I think that Hierophant card combined with that uh, HP upgrade... Pretty much seals the deal, and this is a run where we needed our deal sealed, man, because this, and I mean that in the most sexual way possible, of course, but um, this run was a little bit of a crapshoot at times, so I'm really happy that uh, it seems to be coming through in the clutch for us here in, oof, more dangerous than I would have expected, at least. Let's, uh, let's go fight the boss, win the game, and then come back and play as uh, Azazel. I forgot that Azazel's in our rotation. Lovely. Okay, here we go. No real reason to uh, pick up that red heart. We're already at what I assume is the damage bonus, or close enough that it's not going to make an appreciable difference. And we're going to be good here. Fantastic. It's going to take our streak to what, three? Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.